All right, great. So let's begin. The increment and decrement operators. Plus plus is the increment operator. It adds one to a variable. So val plus plus is the same as val equals val plus one. Plus plus can be used before as a prefix or after as a postfix variable, okay? So let, let's look at this. We have val, which is a variable. You put plus plus before, you put the increment operator before, it's going to add one to the number before um, you continue on with the program. If you put val plus plus, it's going to do whatever operation then add one to val. That's the distinction between the two. All right, we have two hyphens, minus, minus. This is the decrement operator. It subtracts one from a variable. So if you have val minus minus on the single line, that's the same as val equals val minus one. So you can also use the decrement operator before as a prefix or after as a postfix. So you decide. If you put minus minus before, the number goes down by one and then the program continues. If you put it after, you run whatever calculation and then you subtract one. So here we see an example, int num equals four. The variable num is, you just display four. I will now increment num. So you use num plus plus, okay, so now num goes up to five. Then you use plus plus num, now num is going up to six. Then you run the decrement, num minus minus, minus minus num. So you just see it go four, five, six, five, four. Any questions about this first plus plus or minus minus? You can just put a little code in here, C plus plus, int J equals two, J plus plus. What's the value of J? This is super straightforward, but what's the value of J exactly? Just three, so it just goes up by one. All right, very straightforward. So plus plus, increment and decrement, can be used in complex statements and expressions. In prefix mode, the operator increments or decrements, then returns the value of the variable. In postfix mode, the operator returns the value of the variable, then increments or decrements. Okay, so we have int num val equals 12, c out val plus plus, C out plus plus val, you get the idea, right? Like if it goes after, you're going to first show 12 and then move it to 13. If you put it before, you increment it and then show it. Same with decrement. Okay, so you can use it in expressions. So we have result equals num1 plus 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 minus minus num2. So what this means is you use num1, add it to num2 minus 1, and then after it runs, after you, you get your result, then num1 increments. All right? So it has to be something that has a location in memory. You can't have num1 plus num2 plus plus. So it's got to be a variable. You can use it in relational expressions. There we go, all right, our first loop. So in my Tuesday, Thursday class, we started to discuss loops yesterday. It just kind of came up organically. A student wanted to make a menu repeat and we just made a loop to have it repeat. And, and I think it was nice. I mean, it was just the day before we're officially doing it on the syllabus, so if you, you know, think of something that seems kind of interesting, I, I sort of take it as a case-by-case -case basis, right? Like if something seems like a, a 
good idea to introduce it before it says on the syllabus, then yeah, we can do that. But in general, I try to keep the syllabus pretty, you know, I, I like it as a roadmap. Okay, so introduction to loops, the while loop. A loop is a control structure that causes a statement or statements to repeat. So what's the general format of the while loop? We have while, an expression is true, we keep running a statement. The statement can also be a block of statements enclosed in curly braces. So, how does it work? First, the expression is evaluated. If it goes to true, then you run the statement. Check the expression again. If the expression is true, then you run the statement. Once you get to false for the expression, then your loop is finished and it doesn't continue anymore. And program statements following the statement execute. 